Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cognition critical. Let's get this out of there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Shadow Drake, and uh, still just me. But, ooh, wow, that got really cold. Oh, oh no, it's so worse, so bad. Oh, wow, what have I been doing? Okay, uh, let's see. Last time, I think if I remember what I was doing, I was still getting some stuff set up. So I need to get some of these pipes. And honestly, I think I'm at the point where I really need to... Okay, I got this set up. The shower is set up. Yep, the shower is set up. I need to pipe. Hmm. I need to go on ahead and start piping this. Does that get anywhere? That's going to go up to... You know what? Just That's going to go up there. Alright, so where was I at? Uh, let's see. Cables. I got a good amount of cables. Uh, do I have chutes? Not a lot. But I might as well get these. But I need steel sheets. I don't think that's enough. So sheets, I need the electronic parts, and I got some cables. Alright. Ah. Getting stuff together. Let's go and, uh, this orange console. Let's go and set up these deep miners. Because after all, I need to kind of slow down how fast I am losing these, uh, Dirty alloys. I could, I, I guess I could just shut down something. Ooh, but yeah, that's uh, quite a lot. Alright, so. I'm gonna set up these deep miners. And then we're gonna continue finishing setting that up, because. Yeah. I got a few things I wanna set up this time. Uh, the first thing I want to do is mine just a little bit more water. Okay, where are you? That way I can continue setting that system. Perfect, perfect. Alright, what do I need? I believe I need steel sheets, just like I expected. Then it's going to be a screwdriver and electronic parts, right? Yep, screwdriver. Nope, screwdriver and five cable coils. I got the wrong cable coils. Now I need the electronic parts. Alright, perfectly set up. Now, first things first, I gotta get the heavy cables. I do intend to probably build another set. Maybe another four. Or three. Now with this, oh, I need one more shoot. 
With this in mind, I should now be able to slow down my ever decreasing amount of uh, horse. Okay, now let's go back to where we were, what I was doing. Uh, I should have extracted just about everything and moved it to this insulated pipe. Just awesome. This is 14 Celsius, that's cool. This is almost there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and connect this. This way. Some extra thermal energy will go in here and this will cool down some a little bit more. And I think now I can go to here Shut this off because there shouldn't be much left in this pipe. Yep, not much left in there. Alright, so now that we have that, this is all set up. I didn't throw anything out. Okay, you only have 92 liters of liquids. That's kind of a problem. You have a thousand liters. I want to get this filled up to 10% at the minimum, so that means I need 600 liters of liquid to go from here to here. And that's fine. I do want to always have that be regulated so that it is always like that. Ah, uh, I see. I forgot I forgot the large counterflow. Okay, who did I call down last time? <gasps> shrooms. Do you want shrooms? No? What about you? Do you want shrooms? I don't even remember who called. No. Okay. I could have made charcoal from that, but whatever. All right. So let's get a large direct heat exchange because I do need to do something about that. All right. Large, direct, direct. So these are no longer viable, so. Which reminds me, I have not set, I have not made her an advanced furnace or anything like that. Not an advanced furnace, an advanced tablet. There you go. There it is. So let's do that. I haven't made her a tier 2 mining belt. Advanced tablet. Belt. I want to get her stuff ready. I can just go to the trash. I gotta trash a lot of stuff, and unfortunately, I won't be able to just do that. Also, I can't just steal stuff because she's just. It's really hard to tell if she's asleep. Hope she is. <laughs> Alright, so now I got the mining belt, and now I need a hard mining backpack. Fine, and make a backpack for her. It's constant. Let's get the Envar out. Astroloy. Did I even buy any Astroloy? There it is. OK, 
Okay, Arc Welder Tier 2. Just in case she needs to weld. And let's see. There's her tool belt. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Give her a pair of both coils. That ah sensor lenses need ink canal and I also need silicon because I completely forgot about that. Don't have a lot of silicon in there. I'm gonna go make a little bit more silicon and stick it in there. Question is, this is going to connect. So, oh boy, overshot it. Should I just do this? Okay. Let's do the other way. There we go. What do I need? Steel sheets? A pipe? Left them all inside. All right, whatever. We. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about the fact that I was going to make some silicon for that. Oh, right. I got a region mix. Silver, nickel, lead, silicon. Yep. This should be enough. But no silicon on fire, that's what I want. That worked out nicely. Probably the only thing that I gotta fix about that is that I can't cool that down, so it's like I could make other stuff, but I can't really cool anything down. Oh, overshot. I got a lot of steel up there. Wow. Alright, I got a lot of stuff. Uh... Sell that, make more money. A6. Alright. And I'll just send them home because I need more. I need to get the uh, ore processing. There we go. Go ahead and print out one more nuclear battery. Do I have another ore? Interstellar excavators. Shoot. Good. 
good, 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 good. Bring them down, sell some stuff to them. Where'd it go? Doesn't look like I printed it. She has a sensor processing lens, got tools that she can move over, backpack, stuff like that. Yep. Now, where is the orange? I know. Wait. Yep. I know her. She's going to want this completely painted, so let's go do that. That way she has that. I can actually just throw it in her backpack, because then it's all set up. Actually, if she has some stuff in her backpack, I can just really get that set up. Alright, so. Did that even change the color? Yeah, they did. Anything else I want to change the color for her? <laughs> it's already painted orange. That's funny. Alright, hard mining back. All right, perfect. Sell all of that. Sell all that coal. Honestly, I probably need to buy. Now I'll just send you home. Yeah, I know. I probably did just sell qu quite a bit of money for the, the advanced stuff. But, I mean, the advanced alloys I'm going to need in fairly decent quantities anyway. So, let's see. What does she have? Oh, wow. Does not have anything in here. Well, the good news is I can just... Oh, really? You're going to have a moldy muffin. Charging that. There we go. Okay, so I got her stuff squared away. Now I just need normal pipes. And I can continue on. With that. Because one thing I do got to do. Is finish that up. Connect that so that I can, uh. Need a wrench, right? I need a welding torch and steel sheets. There we go. So here's the thing. That, and I want to put a volume regulator right here to right there. Where's my wrench? Right here. I need to connect this power cable somewhere, to be honest. Honestly, I'll probably just go right here and connect that down there.
So I got quite a bit here. I got quite a bit. Not a lot there. If I set this to 10%, I know a good chunk of this is going to go in here. It's going to heat up. It's going to cool down. All of that jazz. And it should... And it should get pretty close. But I want to get this to... Ideally, I want to get this to 10 or 20% because I need... 10% is 600 liters, so I'm going to roughly pump that out. Pump that to empty. So, you guessed it. Water mining trip. Question is, where do I want to go? Let's go that way. I'm going to go strictly for water this time. I was telling Essa that uh, everything is just about set up. And that's the good news about this. The fact that everything is almost set up. It means that there is a lot less to do. And then it's really just a build up. I need to definitely expand the trading pads and stuff, but I don't think I'll be able to get that just yet. Okay, there's some water down there. Water up here. Once I got water heating up that CO2 and heating up that steam of water, then I can start trying to think about how I can use that to warm up my, uh, you know, base fragments. I do want to set up the pneumatic filling station for her because she's ended up loving the pneumatic drill. I do too. It's just I haven't come up with a half decent way of setting it up. I don't care if I get some iron. I can just dump it in the furnace or something. Okay, there was some water. Let's go up here. That's where it was. Okay. I saw some down here somewhere. Uh, that away. Okay. There it is. There's my hole. It's a good thing I'm actually retracing some of my holes. Not only do I want to set this up, I also want to set up a system to auto-evacuate the, uh, the furnace area. I also need to set up something for... I need to set up a lot of backflows for stuff. Like, I don't really foresee myself running into too many issues just right off the bat. You know, having too much pollutants or having too much of uh, anything else. I don't see that just yet, but I know eventually I will. As I keep, as I keep smelting, as I keep doing stuff, I will eventually hit a limit to all of that. Oh, that's plenty of water down there. So it would behoove me to actually set up back pressure regulators, eventually. Because you're gonna, it's it, it's becoming very obvious with nitrogen that I am going to hit my limit on those. Okay, there's not a lot of water right there. I should always be on the lookout for volatiles. Said so strictly water. How long did that last? Not very long. Oh, look at all that water. Water. 
Water is a very good temperature holder. It's really why I want to absolutely make sure that I uh, recover it and always have some amount of it constantly being filled back over there. Filter low. Gotta make more filters too. Ooh, I need to upgrade our filters. Yeah, wow, look, my heavy's already at 69%. That's insane. But yeah, volatiles in water are going to be the big thing for now. I, You know, now that I got the nitrous, I don't really need it as much. I can always r run the nitrous pump thing. <gasps> I actually ran out of battery. Okay. Something here. Filter low. Uh. No, 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 that's a bad idea. There we go. Okay. Some water up here. Let's get a little bit of those volatiles too. Actually, this might be a significant amount of water. Stick out of here. Carefully. Without killing myself. That way. And I should push a lot more water back into the system. Like, I haven't really done anything with the trading pad as far as getting gases. You know, buying them or anything. Really, truthfully, part of that is that I just have not just haven't really touched on that. Okay, let's go ahead and set you in here. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. Much more water. Because that needs to get to 600 liters. Alright, so. Now, the thing is... I set that up over there. That is not going to be an easy way to get through. Alright, so... I didn't think about that too well. This will be my shower.
See, that got quite a bit of water. So. I'm still gonna need more water. Oh. My fuel tank is no longer filling up. That's good. Look at that. That's really filled. What's the CO2 doing, I wonder? That's not bad. Ten percent of that is one hundred sixty two. You know what? Let's leave it at twelve percent for now. feel doing pretty okay admittedly I'm glad this is actually able to cool it down some my 100,000 percent efficiency all right let's see where was I at so don't really have a lot in here You are moving 1.5 kilojoules into here. It's definitely warming up. So condensation chamber still isn't doing anything. You're only really moving one kilojoule. It's not a lot. It could also be that this isn't really that, that filled. Not a lot is evaporating. off so that way I can just stop doing that all right so now I need to Here. And you know what? Maybe I should probably drink first, but let's. Alright. Let's go drink first. The hard part about getting that all down to 20 is the fact that it, I just need more work being done on it. There's not a lot of evaporation happening because it's already getting cl really close to temp. And because of that... Because there's not a lot left. 
it's just going to cause, say, uh... It's just gonna stagnate really bad at that point. Really need to make a fridge. Alright. Let's see. All alloys. Bring it down so I can kind of sell something to you. I think I kept you here long enough. I didn't. I'm not buying anything from you, so go go home. should spray gun my backpack. Did I put the other spray gun back? I did. I need to make a tool belt filled with literally just spray guns. I've seen people do that, and I think that's honestly probably the best thing to do. Okay. Floating again. In that case, go back home. So now I need to... See, now I, I wonder if I should just go on ahead and tell that to go lower, because I... Might as well. Like, I told it to go to 20 Celsius for the nitrous, but maybe I should make it go lower so that it can remove more thermal energy. Because I think what, where I'm having at B right now is, you know, I'm putting 1.18 kilojoules, and that's, you know, forcing some to go in here. You know, there is some condensation happening, which is also pushing it in there. So, you know, it's getting cooler, so more is condensing. Alright, well, let's... Okay, the evaporation chamber is right here. So I think what I need to do is... Okay. I need to put... Like a regulator right here. And I am going to run out of there, that's good. And if I need to chill that down a little bit, I can just put some radiators or something. Well, here's a thought. A liquid radiator would massively keep my base a better temp, especially when I'm using water. If I remember right, I need, 
have not set this up yet. So I have quite a bit of CO2, not a lot here. So let's just pump a little bit. I want to get this to about, uh, let's say, 10 megapascals. That way, what that would allow this to do is I now have a big buffer for how much is being condensed in here. Oops. Now let's do 15. Because let's see, 273, so if I'm gonna go to 300 Celsius, that's roughly 300, I'll be roughly doubling. So let's do 15 megapascals because I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the temperature to roughly 350 Celsius. And if that doubles, that, that should approximately double. That'll put me at, you know, 30 megapascals, approximately. Okay, got that squared away. There we go. Now comes the next part. Why is this not connected? quite a bit here. Some of it is still being pushed over there. Uh, so here we have, this is already set. I think I was going to change you to, let's see, F1, Stationpedia, Nitrous Oxide. See, I'm, I'm getting barely a quarter of a liter evaporating because there's just so little and I was trying to get this down to 20 which is cool 1025 yeah let's just move this down to let's move it down to 15 so a thousand so that's 2.4 kilojoules hard part is this is going to have to really, really condense, so. So some's already condensing here. That's good. Ooh, this is going to be a problem. Look, it's already cooling this down. That should mean that this should work better. All of this should work better now. See, this is warming up. 
and this is that means more some heat energy is getting pushed in here. Which sadly means that some of that is getting pushed in here too, but uh, not a big deal. Next thing I gotta do is set up this. So, that's for the shower handler. Polluted water. Minimum pressure. 6.3 kilopascals. So let's just do 10 kilopascals. I don't want it to freeze. two things I need to do. Number one, purge valve. I mean, pressure and valve. And number two, condensation valve, which I don't have any of them in here. Whoops. That's warming up nicely. Two kilojoules. So this is taking five kilojoules and dumping it. I need more. Our thing is that this is going to be a problem right here. I mean, yeah, this is going to... This should stay fairly warm. But... Uh, am I going to be sucking out enough to actually really warm this up? Like, will I need a second one? What I need to do two systems, you know? I probably shouldn't worry about that too much and just let it actually keep doing its thing. Oh look, that's already at 30. So.
Now I need to... Do this. Do that. Okay, now I need a condensation valve. It should very slowly be heating up, but as you can see, some of it is evaporating, which is, you know, thermal energy that it's using, but it's like five kilojoules going in here. And that's kind of where the whole thing is. This is going to keep increasing, and I'm confident in that. I don't think I need this anymore, so I'm just going to shut that off. Let's get a condensation valve, and then I kind of want to use the shower to verify that that works correctly. First, I need a condensation valve. Good, I got some valve kits here. see that work, to be honest. I'm getting clean. I'm getting clean. Do I need to not have a belt either? I'm getting clean. Looks like it worked. That's the case. It works. a liquid radiator. backpack or anything on. Let's get liquid pipes. Alright. It's going to be convecting some heat in here. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, most of my tools are dead.
some of this heat is going to be coming in here. Because, I mean, it's a little cooler, so some of it will come in here. That's fine. some large batteries. She's going to run into the same issue where her batteries are going to be dying too. Anybody landed? I don't think I do. Cosmic tools, collect the gases. Star stop. I'm curious. What do they got? I'm actually slowly becoming being at a loss for what I need to be doing. But with this, the shower should work. Let's build some interior doors. You can kind of just go be over here. you run out of. Oh, you just stopped because I did something. I need to be in this these. She's gonna love this. Uh just two plastic sheets. Perfect. Where's the locker kit? There we go. Now that can be kind of like a... Ooh, wait. I need some lights. Am I actually going to build lights? Get some sensor kits.
question about the occupancy sensors. I think it's only for this room, right? I can't believe I'm actually making a shower light. doesn't even do that. Alright, so how do I want to program this? This is the first light. Look, I'm I'm not very good, and this is just just gonna be the shower light. Shower ock and entrance ock. I'm just not gonna be too Hunger, crazy. So so entrance ock first light. Shower arc. Shower light. Okay. Let's clear you. And this is the shower room. <laughs> Alias. <clears throat> Entrance arc is D0. Alias. Entrance light. D1, alias, shower, arc, D2, alias, shower, light, D3, so, main, end, yield, J, end. Alright, so, here's the thing. Let's find out what is our data for the occupancy sensor. Occupancy. Let's activate. Okay. Configuration. So activate is zero. Okay. Load R zero and awk activate. Wait. Load R one. Uh shower awk activate. So, let's OR for R2, R0, R1, as end lights, on R2. Now, S shower light, on R1. That's a very simple dirty code. It's honestly kind of...
already is not working very well. Alright, what is going on here? S, D, B, R, 0. Uh, D, B, setting, R, 0. Let's see what's going on here. Still at one. Okay. I think that's what I saw about the ore instructions being really weird about how they just don't work. Sometimes. Wait, that's one. It's still one. But it should be okay. Quantity. Ah. Why are occupancy sensors so stupid? Okay. Why are you being so stupid? It's like not even resetting. That's the weird thing. Just... Alright, well... Entrance sense, and sense, and your shower. Shower. Uh oh. Shoot. Crap. Did it again, didn't I? Completely forgot about that. Okay, let's go fix that. Cannot believe I forgot about that again for the umpteen time. There we go.
That's why. Ugh. That could be why. You know, I had the wrong settings. You know, I had this. The entrance light should have been... No. It still doesn't make any sense because I had that. Uh. Hydration critical. I feel like I'm missing absolutely something stupid and easy. Is that set DB setting or okay? Oh, you know what? This is why I'm an idiot. Let's put you back to the occupancy sensor because what was wrong was the fact that I forgot to go back to the entrance. Shall arc it. Entrance arc, and let's do shower arc. Okay. Okay. Activate. Fades or the and the Honestly, that's actually kind of cool. Because then I can just do this. Woohoo! <laughs> All this just for a working shower. Then I can just go right back to it. Success. Alright. Now that I've literally wasted a lot of time on that, because I'm a dummy and. Hunger critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. 29 Celsius, and you're still cooling down. That's good. Okay. Wish I could name this. All right. Let's see. Where was I at? Uh. No. What? Let's. D. 
do what I haven't done yet and actually get this set up. Because I'm getting kind of tired about the fact that I can't just... You know, call some of these guys down really easily. So let's just go on ahead and set this large dish up and get that going. Because, I mean, it's like... Now it's just a matter of my face change devices doing what they are supposed to. Holy moly, I got a lot of iron. Go home. Now it's just a matter of my face change devices that just need to do their job. Alright, so let's see. This will be the the temporary final upgrade for the time being. And temporary final meaning that it's look how huge this thing is. What do I need for this sucker? Lots of steel sheets. Let's, uh... I need a wrench. I need a screwdriver. I need another welding torch. I need ten heavy, heavy cables. I need ten plastic sheets. And it's done! So the thing about the large dish is it'll make it absolutely brain dead easy to call down medium traders. Just like the the medium dish made it absolutely brain dead easy for me to call down smalls. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, let's get this bad boy set up. for this, I actually have a satellite mirror. Uh, satellite mirror. So, let's see. Any offsets? No offsets. Let's see. I need medium satellite as zero, large satellite as one. Easy. As you can see, I now can see just about everything. And quite honestly, that's going to make calling down the mediums easier because I can just crank up the power and just literally let loose. It'll be perfect. Alright, so. 
I might need another IC-10 or another couple IC-10s. While I do that, I need to go on ahead and... I'm going to go check on stuff that's out there. One thing I do need to do is probably get that thing to spell. So there's no water in there, which is good. It's all getting pumped back here. Wow, that's only a 38? Alright, where am I at on this? I'm curious to see. Oh, still dropping. Glad that I'm getting some of that back, to be honest. Alright. Uh, one of the things I really need to do is get that set up, but I don't think I have any chips on me because I already used them all up. Yep, I don't have a chip out there. So I need to get... Yet another chip. Okay. Mm, I don't think that's gonna work, because I don't think I can even put a housing on there. Yep, I can't put any housing on there. Let alone cables. Alright, so it, it'll have to be something over here then. Because I need to really, really start mixing. Look at that. I got quite a lot of oxygen in there, but I don't have anywhere near. I haven't even begun collecting volatiles. That's what I need to do next. Honestly, this is going to be fairly easy because of the fact that, one, I intend to keep these. Oh, okay. Alright. So 
so one of the things I have to do, I think maybe I can put the wall right here. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Put the wall right here. I'm gonna need a pipe analyzer to go here. Let's see. Then I just need to put a bunch of inline tanks going this way. Yeah, I'm just gonna print out quite a bit of them. Pipe analyzer and then go at it. Still can't look. I mean, just I'm moving that much thermal energy out of the water, and it is just absolutely refusing to budge. I mean, it's like stuck at 29. That's that's the thing about it. Like I could put I could put this on a liquid medium radiator, and this thing will just take forever to drop energy. Because I mean, I have literally 11 kilomoles, 11,000 kilomoles of water in there. And if we look at water, good lord, just doing the math on that. 72 times 11,000. It takes, gosh, almost 800,000 joules to make that whole thing change one degree. This is why I want to get this down to 20, which means this is why I need the CO2 to get down there too. It just takes a lot a whole lot of energy and if i can get this really hot you know like 200 degrees celsius i'm wondering if i can just slap on a medium radiator in a room it'll rapidly warm it up without really changing anything and then just deconstruct it and you know reattach it to this it's insane okay Alright, there's not much left in there, so turn you off. I have got to... I need to set that up. i got to set up two systems. That one and the liquid volatiles. I think I'm going to do the liquid volatiles because that one, I, in my opinion, is probably the more important one. What are you? Pressure regulators. All right, now look, large satellite dish. Oh. See, I could actually start trying to track that better, you know? This cosmic crush, I wonder. All right, let's just make some utility gas pipes. Well, actually, let's do a pipe analyzer first. make two just because I don't know. Now, utility. Oops. I don't know how many that's going to make, but I'm just going to make two whole stacks. Let's check to see what these guys are. I haven't really done a lot with the uh, volume pumps for liquids. Because one thing I'm not sure is, how am I going to make a proper fuel mix for that? Box of spray cans. 
Ants. So you don't have anything that I wanted to get. So go back. Cosmic Crush, what are you? Oh, you're ores. Junk ores, unprocessed ores, 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 ship refill, cardboard box, mining drill with a small, 50 bucks. Okay. I didn't know Cosmic Crush was an ore. I forgot that I also will need a lot of cable coils. Oh, wait, I actually got quite a bit. I love that. I don't know what Void Visions was, but you know what? I'm curious. And if they're not good, I'm just gonna send them back. send them to the other one. Oh, you got the stuff. Alright. Ooh, I got 400 cable coils. Alright. That's cooling down nicely. Also cooling down nicely, and that's heating up nicely. Eventually this is going to... I would hope this would empty out. But I wonder if I actually needed two of them. Or, you know, just two separate ones. One feed one, one feed the other. Like, would this have evaporated enough? Would this have evaporated enough of it to, you know, feed that one? And vice versa. Because right now, I'm, you know, barely moving, what, a little over 5 kilojoules of thermal energy, and this just now got to 58 Celsius. And it's got like a oh, heck of a lot of water to warm up. This is still cooling down. Uh, alright. My volatiles. Okay. I completely forgot. I forgot the chip. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to put a volume pump down here. This is volatiles going that way. I swear, if I kill myself down here. Like that. So now what I need to do... Ugh, is connect this. to 
here. Okay. And now, what I need to do is relabel this to, uh, I don't know, the liquid vol pump. It just makes the most sense to me right now, to be honest. There we go. Now the reason I want these is because I want to put as much capacity as I can for these. So that when I attach these pipes, you know, they, they kind of just do their thing. Now that I got that, I can start connecting the data. Where's the data port for this? It's on the other side. Go figure. Got it. No, oh, come on. Now I can weld that up. So I won't need that anymore. Before I continue this, however, nope, I forgot to power fire the power for this. So I need actually the volume tank, which is volatile tank. So I need volatile tank. I need uh leave all I don't know volatile radiator just for simplicity's sake. Should just gone down. Volatile radiator. Now I need liquid volatile maker liquid volatile pump now I need a liquid volatile tank that's all that I need I just need two condensation valves so then I can in an IC10 and I can start programming that oh boy so much to do uh, this is all in preparations for literally everything I hope that I can basically be comforted with the fact that this one liquid radiator was probably going to be more than enough to uh, handle. 
probably to handle the temperatures in here. Okay. Good, you made it. So now I need... What was it again? Valves. And good, I made icy tents. God, I don't think I need more liquid tanks. Honestly, probably when Essa comes on again, we're just gonna clean up a bunch of this junk. Like, look at all this junk. We gotta start cleaning some of this up. What am I gonna do with a turbo pump? I'm gonna do with turbo stairs. Who else is available? Build ink. Do I even need these guys much anymore? Void vicious. Honestly, I don't know that I should even be bothering with them. Okay. Alright. Up, oh, let's go ahead and eat and drink. Um nom 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 nom. Drink and drink and drink and Eat my muffin. I'm burning through my power a lot more now. And I'm wondering if this is keeping up. To run all of this, I'm using one kilowatt, and I am generating 12 kilowatts. But if that can keep up with my demand. Holy moly, I'm burning through 12 kilowatts. I'm demanding that I put 12 kilowatts, and I'm using 10. So I'm putting 10 kilowatts in, and my GFGs are putting 12. So, yeah, I'm actually... I'm eating, quite a, eating through quite a bit of power. Glad I got this out here. Kidding me? There we go. Okay. So, I have the capability, uh, I have a 1320 liter capacity right here. So, you are going to be. you. 
you're going to be my liquid volatile maker. So let's alias vol tank d0 alias uh, analyzer d1 alias uh, v pump d2 alias lick vol tank d3. So let's define some gmax define gmin. So gmin, let's just say 5 megapascals. gmax will be Fifty megapascals. No, 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 no. Let's let's be conservative. Thirty-five megapascals. Thirty-five MPA. Five MPA. Define liquid max. Liquid min. Define liquid max. Uh, Why is the ratio 0.5 on that? Let's see, points at 0 0.5. Let's do volume of liquid. Okay. Volume of liquid 5,000. Uh, let's do 25,000. Okay, main and yield J main. Let's learn from our mistakes. Okay. So let's do something first. So first of all, Let's load R0 ball tank pressure. Let's load R1 liquid ball tank. Ah, uh, what? Volume of liquid. Yeah. Let's load R2 analyzer pressure. So we're going to need all three of those. And let's. Set V pump block one, set V pump setting ten. Okay. SLT SGT. So R three. If R0 is less than L min, and, and if we'll set R4 if R0 is greater. No, G max G min. So select R5. And so what we're going to do. If A is non zero, so that's R3, select R5, R4. So if it is less than, we want this to be a 1, otherwise we do R5. If this is greater than, we want this to be 0, otherwise R5. Correct? Actually, I need to do the liquid first. Let's just do alias. Alias. Uh, liquid on. R15. Alias. P on. R14. Wait, 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 R3. 
R1, R1. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. L max. L on. L on. So what it does is, if I have less liquids than I want in the volume tank, I'm going to set it on. If I have grip more than, I'll set it off. That way I can just regulate how fast I'm making my liquid volatiles. Let's just do 10,000 for now. Okay. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. R3, R0, Gmax, SL, SGT, R4, R0, Gmax, Gmin. Select R5. R3. Oops. L on. L on. R5. Select. R5. R4. 0. R5. This is to see what the pump needs to be. Now, I need an AND instruction for uh, P on. P on. On. If, based on this, my pump needs to be on, it needs to be based on R5 and L on. Now, I basically do s v pump on p on oops How about I actually have enough here? Okay. How much am I using here? I might actually need a turbo pump. This is going to start condensing soon. It'll never reach that point. Okay. All right. But What I just realized is I need this to be R2. Because I needed to look at my analyzer pressure. An alias be on R13. And so, if so, if we we're going to set V on if and only if R0 is greater than, let's say 500 kilopascals. That's the only time we're ever going to set that on.
Okay, let's go get a turbo pump because there's just... This is much slower than I wanted it to be. When one of my volatiles condense. Yeah, it's not gonna condense until... Yeah, at least three megapascals. All right, let's leave that going for now. Let's go get a turbo pump because I just... It didn't quite occur to me that that's gonna be stupid slow. I forgot I have two airlocks. When am I gonna remember that? Ugh, you still need to dump? Okay, dump then. Alright, let's go get a turbo pump so that I can pump that up faster, because I really just want to be like, short spur, pump on, stop, pump off. Did it again. And then I think I'm going to call it once I get that done. Turbo pump. Yes. All right, what do we got now? Seeing, having the large dish is nice, but man, we st you still need to be able to track down the uh, heavies, and that's kind of why the mod I have kind of just... I haven't really done much with them to see whether the heavies is good, because I haven't really had a reason to call down a large. But now, in order for us to get a chicken, we need to... We actually need to, uh... Oh, that's that. I can't do I can't use that name. Uh liquid vol pump. I don't know. What did I call you again? Yeah, look L vol pump. Yeah, perfect. Uh gotta hold this up. That's going to fill you up much faster now.
This is kind of why I want to keep an eye on it, because it's just going to be very, very... Not only power heavy... For what I'm trying to do, but you see, that's like four kilomoles. Oh, uh, let me just adjust that. I think I want to put this at... Four... Twenty. That way, once it hits 20. So, look, that's 7 kilomoles right there. That's a lot that I'm burning out. Oh, I got some of that condensed in here. Now I gotta go mine for more volatiles, because look, I just practically drained my volatile tank. That'll be for another day, though. My fuel is doing good. Volatile tank is dropping like a fly. Once I get the rockets up, I'm going to have to actually start mining for volatiles and water. Okay, it should shut off once this hits t above 20. There we go. That's going to let all of this cool down. Which is going to allow a good chunk of that to condense and go in there. Perfect. This is still filling up, which is good, because I still need... NOS fuel. Maybe I should do something here, where it checks the temperature of the output, and the temperature of the output is like above zero, it'll turn this on, and if it's above, and if it's less, then it'll turn it off. Alright, where are you at? 25? That's not bad. 28? Not bad. 50? Really not bad. All right. So overall, things are going well. I think what I'm going to do is relocate that, uh, the solid fuel generator, put it up here somewhere. Oh, I can't go in that way. leave those here. And so, 
with that. Ooh, that's actually draining. Huh. That should start making that. Oh, one step closer to uh, more stuff. Okay, I have got to put the floors. This is kind of working a little bit better now. <laughs> okay, so what's happening to my oxygen here? 82? So let's see, three, six, you have no condensation happening here. You don't have enough. That's interesting. These two actually don't have enough to condense anything else. So I need to actually add a little bit more volatiles in here because there's nothing condensing. It's so I'm only really putting 6 kilojoules energy out while I'm actually taking out quite a significant bit. Pushing 6 in here, another 6 in there. It's going to kind of keep that steady. And I am taking out 2 here and taking out another 5 here. So I'm actually going to be eating quite a bit. just not a lot of water evaporating over here is the thing. Alright. So when I'm not pushing energy out hard, that recovers. That has a chance to recover. Alright. That calls it for this. Did quite a bit. Didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, but I got quite a bit done. I know S is going to appreciate the shower. And let's see, Orbiting Orchard, Interstellar Inhalants. <laughs> yeah, like I'm never going to call that one down. Alright, so next time.
we're just going to continue on. Looks like I might actually have to do a mining trip to get some volatiles. But with the atmospherics fully set up, uh, I can now proceed to do the ores. Or actually start working on trying to get a rocket manufacturer and rockets going full time. Honestly, that might be the thing that I need to do. I might relocate this so that I can get the rocket manufacturer somewhere over here. Probably right here. But this is actually going to be keeping my temperature fairly stable. I don't think I'm going to need this anymore. I can probably use it every now and then just to kind of cool down the base, but... You know? I think this is probably the thing that I like. The fact that I could just... Jump right here. Take a shower. Whee! Oh, she's going to enjoy this, I know. Yeah. Honestly, that shower is pretty cool the way it is like that. But alrighty, next time, I'm gonna keep working, I'm gonna keep doing things. Can't hold my tablet in here. But we're, this is becoming more and more set up. Cognition low. Oh yeah, cognition low. So, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep working, keep making more stuff. And, uh, hope to see you then.